Hi, what's up, y'all? It's cracking and popping this D-Boss Rex. This video by Triple OC is titled The Desperation of Deluxe Albums. Damn, not the desperation. Okay, but we got some people on the thumbnail I'm curious about. They're about to release a deluxe. I mean, after the first one is released, I don't really care about going back and checking on the songs that you added. I don't really care. I don't usually ever do that. Um, but yeah, let's see what she has to say. Let's watch. Is it just me, or does it seem like there's been an increase of deluxe projects dropping lately? Deluxe albums have become a popular oh, format in the deluxe? music industry since the late 90s and early 2000s. With the concept originating as artists sought to offer more value to fans and stand out in a competitive market. But lately, it seems like some artists are choosing to release deluxes in an attempt to prolong popularity. No, to and some fans feel like they're pushing projects that perhaps the public wasn't really feeling in the first place. Whether they're using deluxes as an excuse to extend an era release songs that didn't make the cut I really like or don't that. want to release a new project right away. It seems like listeners have been noticing that a few musicians are missing the mark. Is it giving the desperation of the deluxe? I don't know, but we should talk about it. But first, welcome to the channel. Hey, hi, what's Dan with it? I'm C and I do rap and pop culture commentary. So if you're into that, subscribe and hit the like button. Sometimes it feels like the album rollouts and eras that our favorite artists tease to the public are totally expected, almost like we know their next move. And other times, it takes us completely by surprise. But one thing I've been noticing lately is that deluxe albums are all the rage. Today I was scrolling through social media and saw that everyone's favorite South African baddie, Tyla, announced the deluxe version of her self-titled album. I'm really feeling this cover art, and I love the way that Tyla has made Water not only a hit song, but a piece of her musical identity. It's the perfect theme for the artwork for her deluxe, artistically. The first cover is giving cute and flirty, but this one feels more grown and sexy. It feels like a new Tyla, a new era if you catch my drift. Tyla announced in her Instagram broadcast channel that she hated the idea of doing a deluxe, but the three new songs included on the project feel like a world that she created with the original version of Tyla, the album. And she doesn't want to move on before sharing it with her fans. And that's when my antennas popped up for more reasons than one. For starters, she's genius. Tyla has recently beat the uppity African allegation. Well, depending on who you ask. And we're not far from her name being buzzed all around social media. So dropping a deluxe is sure to get everyone talking again and potentially listening too. And secondly, while I would say that it feels a bit late for Tyler to be dropping this deluxe, being that her debut dropped in March, baby, it's been seven months. Mm. But look, I'm going to cut her some slack because I guess there's not exactly a time limit on when you can deluxify your album. After all, even anniversary deluxes do exist. So if you feel like the time is right, girl, go for it. And while some people are ready to hear new Tyla, others were thinking, listen, three songs is not deluxing how you think it is, which is why I want to revisit Tyla's statement. I understand that these songs feel like they fit in this girl. era, but everything about the cover, rollout, and direction that Tyla's career is currently going in, from this different side we all saw at the VMAs like her album was to all of her other accomplishments, feels like she's ready to enter a new oh, era. Yeah, now, I won't front like I'm not here for deluxe projects because we can dive into a few reasons why deluxe albums feel necessary. First of all, especially during this current era of music where the average That's listener is like. scrolling social media to find their next favorite song, artist, and album. All the while, our attention spans often are giving Oh, please, Tim, to do deluxe. So I love her. I love her album. And reignite oh. excitement for our project. One of my favorites this year. Way to go. Sometimes a deluxe is all about releasing songs that just didn't make the cut or getting those sales up or simply giving fans something new, showing your appreciation for them supporting the original. Artists like Taylor Swift and Beyonce have successfully leveraged deluxe albums to enhance their narratives and engage fans way more deeply. Although some would say that Taylor Swift takes it a little Let's bit overboard look. and represents how some artists get too greedy with deluxes. However, her large dedicated fan base paired with the fact that she always aims to take the top spot versions, in streaming and awards 
says a lot about how and why she releases the way that she does. Each deluxe sparks renewed interest in her earlier works. Her fans love it. But in some cases, certain artists should consider going back to the drawing board. But I really want to focus on one artist that did an excellent deluxe, someone who could potentially benefit from dropping a deluxe, and lastly, someone who feels like they are missing the mark. And just to let you wonder who fits into what category, we'll be discussing Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion, and Victoria Monet. One artist that I feel like did an excellent job of building on her album theme and really fleshing out the project to feel like something completely new. Um, I don't really go back to those tracks though. And vibe is Doja Cat in her most recent project, Scarlet to Claude, which included seven new tracks Doja added to the beginning of the album. And on the recent one year anniversary of the original album release, she even shared behind the scenes footage with her fans. Not bad for someone who claims to hate them. <laughs> the deluxe album shows her dynamic artistry and her evolution as an artist with key differences in content themes and just overall presentation. Scarlet is Doja's fourth studio album, but also one that finally feels like it fulfills the real rap lovers that Doja Cat's audience is made of. And from a cultural standpoint, the album artwork, especially the deluxe, feels like a rebuttal against the she black, but she ain't black black commentary that Doja Cat has gotten through her career. Blonde, 4 seat curls that some fans liken to pubic hair or sheep's wool. But overall, a great representation of a deluxe that fits well in Doja's Scarlet era. Which brings me to an artist that feels like she should be leaving this album era and transitioning to the next instead of doing a deluxe, our girl Victoria Monet. Now I'll be the first to say that I enjoy Victoria Monet's music and after seeing her perform live this summer, she truly feels like the closest thing that we have to a Janet Jackson level artist and performer. And I saw Janet Jackson like mm. the same weekend. So I stand by that. But unfortunately, it doesn't feel like Jeff. I feel like some of the comparisons aren't necessary. Because what? I, don't, I mean, of course she's inspired by her. Everybody's inspired by Janet. But I don't. Whatever. Jaguar 2. She's her deluxe. own artist. Now, just for deluxe. reference, I was a little confused. But Jaguar was supposed to be a series. Actually, a trilogy of EPs that were all supposed to come together to form Victoria's studio album. But due to Jaguar 2 being delayed, it's now only become two projects. Jaguar is Victoria's fifth EP, which I will forever love as it features ass like that, a track that truly introduced me to Victoria as a solo artist. And is it just me, but it sounds is very fine. Ariana Grande coded. Understandably so, as she used to write for her during this era. And then there's Jaguar 2, where we get hits like on my mama and all right and now we have jaguar 2 deluxe which dropped last week with 10 new tracks now i'm so here for the new edition of tracks the new album artwork but 10 songs feels That's like enough lot. to bring forth an entirely new project right. even if it's just an ep some fans are loving it and others feel like it leans a bit too much into the sad girl vibes i love that she's leaning more sad into the grape vibes. with samples from michael jackson and anita baker but as for me, Jaguar just feels like a time where Victoria finally found her way as a solo artist, stepping away from wearing her songwriter hat. So perhaps I'm just ready for a new era. And finally, we have Megan Thee Stallion's Megan Act 2. Now, I would be lying if I said I didn't think a deluxe for this project is a good look. I feel like it will benefit Megan. But truthfully, my reasoning has a lot to do with me wanting to hear more from her in like every way, especially sonically. I want new themes, beats, new flows. Oh, she don't have it. Something to excite me. Because when I heard this new snippet that she teased a few days ago, the one where she's like wearing the ice out grills, I was so ready. This is the Megan vibe that I need. Megan has been an album era that feels all about shedding skin, popping out of that cocoon, and finally blossoming into something I'm different. Disappointed so we need this world. deluxe to reflect that. Yeah. And I believe she has a documentary dropping on October 31st. So I'm wondering if this is when the deluxe will be dropping. Mm-hmm. Now, you know Megan is all about Hottie Ween, so this is the perfect time to drop. But anyways, how do you feel about deluxe albums? Yeah, I don't typically go back and, and check out deluxe albums unless I really like an artist. Like, I definitely went back and checked out Doja's deluxe album. And in the moment, I was like, oh, okay, this is decent, all right. But the more I kept trying to listen to it, it just really wasn't... Uh, sticking with me so I don't ever listen to those songs from from the Claude uh, edition and yeah other artists I don't typically feel interested in, in hearing additional songs that are added to the original album it's like you should have already put these out <laughs> you had one chance all right unless like I said 
Um, I really like an artist and I will definitely give them a chance. Like Tyler, I enjoyed her album, so I will check out those songs. Victoria Monet, same thing. I really like her, so I will check out those songs. Ten songs is a lot, though. That's a, a damn near a whole new album. Um, and if Tim's did it, oh, I would love that. Um, and Megan, I feel like she needs new songs because overall, um, spoiler alert, I reacted to the album on my Patreon, but I wasn't too happy with her album. She had a few songs that were decent, and there are a few that I, I listen to from time to time, but... You know, I did expect and want more from her. Um, but because I do really enjoy her as an artist, I will check out the deluxe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, I feel like it's a hit or miss. Because it's like, sometimes they come back with, with decent songs, but I feel like for the most part, they don't. When I hear, when I do listen to deluxe albums, I'm like, I didn't need this. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll give everybody a chance, though, that I like. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!